Hi. So we'll continue our playlist on 2D list. So far, we have understood how 2D arrays are created, how they are accessed, how they are traversed. In traversals, we have done straightforward traversals so far. We have uh, gone through row-wise traversals, we have gone through column-wise traversals, and we have uh, done diagonal-wise traversals. Now we are going to do a little more complicated traversals, which are going to involve uh, amalgamation of both row and column wise traversals. So in this traversal, we are going to go column by column and then in between you also have to traverse row wise as well, right? As we have discussed earlier in each video, we are going to give you a homework question. We are going to give you a question which is very similar to the question that we have discussed in the video. So I'll give you that question at the end and along with that I'll share the notes that we develop in this video so that you can revise the concepts properly okay so without further ado let me share my screen and let's discuss the concepts on this video so the question is that you have to traverse on the given matrix like this, <clears throat> first you have to go downwards, then you have to go on the right hand side, then you have to go all the way up, then you have to go a little right and then you have to go all the way down. The output is going to be 1, 4, 7, 8, 5 and 2, then 3, 6 and 9. So over here, if you try to print the elements in this order, if you try to traverse to the matrix in this manner, you would do one conclusion, you would make one observation, which is that when you are going through the zeroth column, you would go from the zeroth row till the last row. But when you are going through the first column, you will go from the last row to the first row. Similarly, when you are going through uh, the second column, you will go from the zeroth row till the last row. So when you have an even column, you are going from the 0th row till the n minus 1th row. And when you are going through an odd column, then you will start from n minus 1 and you go all the way up till 0th row. So over here, what we can conclude is that we have to print in column by column manner. We have to traverse in column by column manner. And in each column, if the column is E1, then you have to go from 0th till n minus 1th row. And if it is odd, then you have to go from the n minus 1th row till the 0th row, right? So the code for following is going to look something like this. I am going to go column by column. So I'll start from i equal to 0. i is less than m i plus plus. We can use the usual variable that we use for traversing on the uh, columns of a matrix. So we can say that we are going to start from j equal to 0. We are going to go all the way up till m minus 1 and we are going to do j plus plus. Over here, the matrix is of n cross m size. So the columns loop is going to start from 0 and it is going to go all the way up till m minus 1. Then you are going to traverse on each column. If the value of column is even, so I would say if j modulus 2 is double equal to 0, then what we have to do is we are going to traverse on the row from 0 to n minus 1. And if the value of the column is odd, then we are going to traverse in the opposite manner where we are going to start from n minus 1 and we are going to go all the way up till 0. Inside it, we are going to write the same thing. We are going to say print the element a of i and j. Right? So this is how it should be. Right? What would be the time complexity for this approach? The outside loop, the external loop, the outer loop is running m times the number of iterations for the outer loop is m. The inner loop, if it is an even column, then it would be n iterations. If it is an odd column, then also it would be n iterations. So in either cases, uh, there would be n iteration. If it's an even value, then also it is going to be n iterations. If it is an odd value, then also it is going to be n iteration. So all in all, it is going to be n cross m iteration. So I would say 
it is going to be big of n cross m iterations. Time complexity is going to be big of n cross m iteration. Space complexity, on the other hand, since we have not taken any extra array, so therefore the space complexity is going to be big of one, right? An extra question based on the question that we have just discussed would be this question. So you are given a 2D matrix. It would be of n cross m size. You would have to go row by row this time. You have to print this way, starting from 0, 0. The first row is going to be traversed this way. Then the second row is going to be uh, traversed this way. Then the third row is going to be traversed this way. You have to go in the manner of going up and down row by row. This time you have to traverse row wise. So I hope you have understood this question. I hope you would be able to do this sample homework question that we have given you, right? I hope you would be able to convert this concept, this pseudo code into your favorite programming language. That would be all for this video. Thank you.